the stage is set, the countdown has begun and in a few hours from now, the Indian Space Research Organization is going to initiate the automatic landing sequence for the power descent of lander module of Chandrayaan-3, India's third expedition to the moon. It's going to be a roughly 15 to 16 minutes exercise which is going to begin at about 5.45 p.m. If everything goes well, India would be on the south pole of the moon by 6.4 p.m. Now this entire uh, process or landing process is going to be a multi-stage process. The first phase is going to be a uh, rough breaking pairs where the lander module which is uh, going which is moving at a velocity of about 1.68 km per second would be the velocity would be reduced by firing the thruster thruster engines which would help the velocity to come down and eventually the lander module which is moving horizontally would be tilted and it's going to move vertical from that time so this shift from horizontal to vertical movement is the most critical part of the landing process and it is the point where isro had faltered last time in uh, during chandrayaan 2 when it was attempting the landing process critical mathematical Mathematical calculations have to be done and have to be loaded on the lander module. The entire process of landing is entirely automated. Remember, so far, the scientists from the uh, ground station of ISRO had been staring Chandrayaan-3 ever since the rocket lifted off from Sri Harikota. Over the last 40 days, when the earthbound maneuvers were being performed, then the, land, then the lunar orbit maneuvers were being performed, the entire process was, uh, was entirely carried out by ISRO scientists. But the landing process is going to be entirely automated. So the the first phase is the rough breaking phase, after that will be the fine breaking phase when the vertical descent is going to begin and again the velocity would be gradually lowered. So from 1.68 kilometers per second, it will lower to about 2 meter per second. ISRO had made the lander module so strong that it can still withstand a, you know, a, a landing process when even if the velocity goes at about 3 meter per second. Now it may seem like a very small velocity but as ISRO scientists say that, this is, that it's, it's still a very high velocity when it comes down to a landing on the lunar surface and at about 80 uh, and at altitude of about 80 meters the lander module is going to scan the lunar surface compare the images with the onboard imagery which has already been loaded on it and gradually decide whether it is okay to land or not and still at about a few meters from the lunar surface it's going to hover over the landing site ensure that there are no boulders and craters and if Everything is fine, it's going to land, but if it's not sure, it still can move at about, uh, for a distance of about 150 meters and make that call. So it's, it's going to be the most, most crucial part of the entire Chandrayaan-3 mission and if everything goes well, we India can create history by becoming the fourth nation in the world after the Soviet Union, now Russia, United States of America, China, to become a successful space nation which has a soft landing on the moon but what is remarkable is that in a, ISRO is doing it uh, at a very limited budget and it's planning to land on the south pole of the moon which no other country has uh, done so far.